Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, Math is Fun. I am Cheryl M. Esguera. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to add the similar fraction in a very easy way. Okay, sa mga nagre-review dyan ng LET or the Licensure Examination for Teacher and for the Civil Service Examination, mari itong makatulong para sa inyo. Okay, we're going to use the cross product method to add the similar fractions. For example, 4 fifths plus 2 thirds. Okay, here our denominators are different. We have 5 and 3. We have different denominators. So we call this one a uh, dissimilar fractions. Okay, how are we going to add this one? In a traditional way, we're going to find the LCD of 5 and 3. But in this way, we are not going to find the LCD, but we're just going to multiply 4 and 3, multiply 5 and 2, and multiply 5 and 3 for our denominator. Okay? Then, if we're going to multiply 4 times 3, our answer is 12 plus 5 times 2, our answer is 10. Then we're going to multiply 5 and 3 for our denominator. Our answer is 15. So we have here two numerators, 12 and 10. So this is the, uh, the time that we're going to add our numerator. Then we just copy our denominator. So if we're going to add 12 and 10, the answer is 22 then just copy 15. So our answer now is 22 over 15. But before that, uh, we need to reduce our fraction to its lowest term. And our numerator in, in this example is uh, bigger than the denominator. So this is an improper fraction. So we're going to change this one into a mixed number. How are we going to change this one into a mixed number? Just divide 22 divided by 15. So 22 divided by 15, the answer is 1. Then 1 times 15, the answer is 15. Then 22 minus 15, the answer is 7. Then we have here a remainder 7. We're going to make this one as our numerator. Then 15 as our denominator. Here, our divisor, we are going to take this one as our denominator. So, our final answer is 1 and 7 fifteenth. Okay, this is our answer in a mixed form. So, we are going to put a twist. How about if our fraction is 2 third x plus 2 seventh x? Okay, the same way, we're going to cross multiply, okay? 2 times 2x times 7, we just multiply 2 times 7. The answer is 14, then we're going to copy x here, okay? We just copy x here. So, another uh, next one is plus 3 times 2x, just multiply 3 times 2. The answer is 6, then copy the same letter x, then the last one is we're going to multiply our denominators. 3 times 7, the answer is equal to 21. So uh, let's observe to our numerator. We have 14x plus 6x. Okay, we called it the same term, like terms. We called it like terms because they have the same letter. They have the same letter x and other, other, other one is x also. Okay, we called it like terms. In adding monomials, we can combine 14x and 6x because they are like terms. Just add their numerical coefficient. Okay, when we say numerical coefficient, that is a number beside the variable or a letter. So we just add 14 plus 6. So 14 plus 6, the answer is 20. Then just copy our uh, literal coefficient, which is x. Then copy our denominator 21. So our answer now is 20x over 21. So this is in the lowest term. So this is our final answer. Okay, here's another example. 3, 8. 
plus two seventh. Ayan. Okay. Just multiply three times seven. The answer is equal to point two one. Plus eight times two. The answer is equal to sixteen. Over eight times seven. What is the answer? Fifty six. Okay. Just add on the numerators. Twenty one plus sixteen. The answer is thirty seven. Over fifty six. So, is there any common factor between the two? 37 over 56? Yeah, you're right. There's none. So, 37 over 56 is in the lowest frame. Okay, another example. 3y over 12 plus 4y over 8. Okay, the same way, we're going to multiply 3y times 8. What is the answer? Okay, the answer is equal to 24y and plus 12 times 4y. The answer is equal to 48y over 12 times 8. The answer is equal to 96. So 24y plus 48y, we just combine that one. We, just going, we are going to add that. 24 plus 48, the answer is equal to 72. Then copy y, 72y over 96. So, is there any common factor between 72 and 96? Oh, yes, there is. So, we need the greatest common factor. What is the greatest common factor of 72 and 96? Okay, you're right. The greatest common factor of 72 and 96 is equal to 24. Okay, 72 divided by 24, that is 3, then copy Y, that is 3Y. Then 96 divided by 24, the answer is 4. So this is our final answer, 3Y over 4. Okay, hope that you understand our lesson for today. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our review. Okay, until next time, thank you for watching.